Welcome to the third and final installment of the 2014 NAI Men's Golf National Championships Daily Recap Show. I'm your host, Alan Grossbach, coming to you from the LPGA International Golf Club in Daytona Beach, Florida. Poor weather conditions may have, may have delayed play yesterday, however, the conditions were tremendous today as 21 players finished under par. We'll jump right into today's action and congratulate the National Championships champions, Coastal Georgia, on their tremendous effort. Coastal Georgia became the 30th different team in NAI history to claim a red banner this year, shooting a 4 under par 284 in the final round. The Mariners led after round one with the 285, however, struggled in the afternoon session of day two, dropping to five over par as a team. Alan Bradford paced the team all week, finishing fourth in the individual race with a 213. Bradford played his best golf in the, four, in the third round, carding a 300 par 69 that included birdies on holes number 1, 9, 11, 13, and 16. In addition to Bradford, Dylan Freeman and Chase Miller posted top 25 finishes. Freeman carded a 216, while Miller shot 219, including a 200 par 70 in the final round. Oklahoma City's James Marchesani took home the O.D. Bounds National Medalist Trophy after defeating Jay Monahan of Grandview in a playoff. Marchesani forced the extra hole with a birdie on the 18th in the final round. He then repeated the feat and sealed his final collegiate event with a three-foot birdie putt to win the... Okay. I'm here with 2014 individual medalist James Marchesani of Oklahoma City University. First of all, James, congratulations on, on a win in your, your final collegiate tournament. How does it feel to be the individual champion? It's pretty nice. Um, we come here as a team, to win as a team. Uh, fortunately, it didn't go that way this week, but to get the individual medalist, it's a huge, huge award for myself and had a pretty big gear coming home, so it makes it uh, pretty special. Sure. Talk a little bit about, this is the, you mentioned the team, this is the third straight title you've been a part of. You won two as a team the last two years, and then you won this one. How does this one compare with that team, the two team titles? Um, a little different feeling, team titles. Four, one of the best coaches in NIA history, really Hall of Famer Kyle Blazer. You also get to play with your younger brother. Talk about what it's like to get to to get to interact with those two individuals day in day out for the last few years. It's been fun. I mean, like I said, Coach Hall of Famer. He's he's the best. You know, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here. Uh, and the same for my brother. He's pushed me along. Where you know, obviously, brothers are pretty competitive, real competitive. Um, and it just just pushes us along to get better and better every day. And I don't think if, if he wasn't here this year, it, uh, yeah, I don't think I'd be here either. Great. Well, thank you, James. Again, congratulations on the award. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Great career. Thanks, As a team, Oklahoma City finished second in the team standings with a combined score of 869. Johnson and Wales, Florida, and William Woods out of Missouri finished tied for third at 874. The Wildcats carded a pair of 292s in route to the finish, while the Owls recovered from a second round 296 with a 289 in the third round to finish tied for third place. Well, that puts a wrap on today's show, and I first of all want to congratulate again Coastal Georgia on a tremendous tournament and individual medalist James Marchesani from Oklahoma City. In addition to those two groups, I also want to congratulate all the coaches and players that participated in this year's event and on a tremendous season. Well, that puts a wrap on everything again, and thank you for joining us, and until next year, have a good evening.